In my place where he comes from, we say, Gegasta Yesu. Buena Sifiwe. Praise the Lord again. Amen. One day, three people were invited to a particular party. Like the party that you have today. One came from Mount Telgon. And in this party, they say that each and everyone shall bring their piece of cutlery. Kila mtu alete sila ya kukulia. So the person from the mountain thought that it is a meat-eating party. Therefore, he decided to carry a knife. In Gore Kegure wrote it, he decided to carry a knife. And he said when meat will be served, he was going to meet with the meat perpendicularly. Atakata nyama na atakula. And he's going to be blessed in the party. Second one, anatoka penye mwalimu, anatoka wenye wanasema orio, na angafikiri ni pati ya kukula mapuni. Mapuni, by the way, is sweet potatoes. Therefore, he decided that he was going to carry a fork. Yeye yeah, akasema yeah, wakilete maponi na uma yake ako chonjo sema chonjo <laughs> ako sawa na atakula vizuri what that came from nandi in nandi there is no celebration without rice therefore yeye yeah, akajipanga na kijiko walipofika kwa party there were three seats and then they served a delicacy that was covered in with a hot pot. When you are hot pots are interesting things. You don't prepare psychologically because you do not know what is inside the hot pot. You can keep guessing. Maybe it is mandazi to realize it is chapati. So in the hot pot, ule mwenye na kisu is preparing to eat the meat. Mwenye na uma Ame prepare na uma yake. Hata wakijiko, he is ready and set for the party. The host prayed. And he said, dear Lord, I pray that you are going to bless the meal that is ahead of us. In the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And the rule in that party was, thou shall not change your piece of cutlery. You will not change. You will not deter. Neither will you detour. You will continue with it. It was a soup eating party. Soup taking party. Can you imagine the person with a knife? He tried to scoop me soup and it went in the opposite direction. Imagine the one with the fork. Hata akaweka mkono kama dunga lakini supu inateremuka chini. The only one who was blessed was the one who carried a spoon. Just as we are gathered in this party, I know many of you have some can carrying a knife. Na kila maubiri wanasambaza. Wengine wanasema I wish my classmate was here to hear this sermon. I wish my neighbor was here. Ne anatoka ilivyo kuwa mwanzo, ilivyo sasa, hata milele, ametoka pure. There are others with a fork. Maneno inaingia kwa masikio hii, inatokea kwa masikio ile. Wakati neno la mungu linaubiriwa, akili hiko kwa ukali na uji ambaye tutakula badai. Na yeye anasema neno ilipita, ipunyum neno ilipita juu, haiku ingia ndani. Wale ambao wamebarikiwa na matabarikiwa leo are those people who are going to carry a spoon. And every sermon they will say it is mine. And it is mine. How I pray that you are going to carry a knife today. And every teaching you are going to take it that it will change you and transform you. Jesus said, whosoever hears these words of mine and puts them into practice 
that is like unto a wise man who built his house upon the rock. It is not sufficient to listen. But it is enough to put it into practice. Then you will be likened to a wise man who built his house upon the rock. The rock is Jesus Christ. Once our foundation is laid on Jesus, we will not be shaken. Trouble will come our way. Persecution will come our way. But we will not be shaken because Jesus is the same. Yesterday, today, and forever. Praise the Lord. Whether you are in college or you are away, you will not be shaken. Jesus is the same. Yesterday, today, and forevermore. Amen. Today, I want to talk about I desire a promotion. I want to say at this particular moment is that we all desire promotions. We all desire to move from being students to artisans. We desire from being followers to people of substance. We desire here in Kitala Kapel to move from being dependent to a supporter of a family. We desire to be promoted from being idle to doing something. We desire promotion. It is my prayer that as you are here going out, may you always desire to be promoted. Amen. There are those who desire to remain the same, always complaining, always heaping blames on others. But it is my prayer that as you are here, desire promotion. Desire to be an artisan of repute. Desire to be a mechanic that can be called. Desire to move to the best and even to attain a PhD. It is possible. By the way, in 1993, I was suspended. I was 15 years. 1993, I was 15 years. I was suspended from French school, Kamsika. My suspension letter read like this. Conspiring to ban the school is not a laughing matter. Your son is callous and evil-minded. Who is not supposed to be mixed with right-thinking Kenyans? A safe place for him is in a prison cage. I was beyond repair. I thank God for my brother. He has given his testimony. And I have not heard him say about drinking. It is very difficult. Maybe it is a unique support. It's very difficult to get a support who has not tested my dear bro. Again. <laughs> 1993, I'll share his testimony. And thank God for him. He has not imbibed that stuff. 1993, Pombe, Sigara. otherwise known as cannabis sativa. It is until when I met Jesus. That is when I desired promotion. Some of us are desiring many things as you have completed your education here and training. But I pray that you will desire the true promotion from God. And I want to say, you cannot be promoted unless you have these qualifications. Number one, you must be competent. That's why they took you to Kitala Kapel 
technical training institution. This is not a holiday camp. It is a place of training. If it is to become a social worker, you are trained thoroughly. If it is a mechanic, you are trained. You are not here for a show up. You are here to be trained to be competent. Maybe there are things that you did not learn. As you go out, I pray that you cannot, I pray that you will know that I need to be competent before I am promoted. If you are trained to be a secretary, you need to be competent. Speak the queen's language like nobody's business. If you are a mechanic, know the engine like the back of your hand. Whatever they train you, say, I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. And I want to pray that wherever you are, it doesn't matter. Whether you are in Kacheliba or in Nairobi, competence is what takes people places. No matter where you are, they don't ask you the training institution that you went, but when you are competent, you will sell this name of Kitala Capel Technical Institution. Before you are promoted, may you be competent. Praise the Lord. Amen. If you are not competent, what is a plant operator? Caterpillar, big machines. As a lecturer, you shrug that in the little broad man. I don't know what he has said. Now, Lizzy, I'll go back at a certificate. When they were building the road in Mount Elko, well, remember, we advertise for plant operators. There is no interview. Machine, you where find your man for you? Now, go on, you for 15 minutes. He did not know anything. Why did they tell him Kazi Akuna? He was not competent. I tell you, you are here in Kitana Kapel for a season and for a reason. Before you complete, ensure that you are competent. Competence. Number two. Some people are competent, but they lack character. Tabia. You can be a competent engineer, a competent mechanic, like in a bolt, in a una kula, una feature from Foko, in a Mudwa Giangalia, Kando, una pika la Vitusake, Pokari, and finally, you are sad. It is my prayer that on top of competency, may God enable you to have character. Even to attract men. mafuta, ya chips. Oh, mafuta ya kujipaka No, it's not chipsy. By the way, I come from Mount Elgon. He comes from where people are more advanced. The East. I come from almost Chepu. <laughs> Where well, life is a bit difficult. I got to match Mangu, Mangu, and you want to put on a bad room. Dele, Nina, Endele. I got a man in my eye in a green. You don't mind on Endele and Bell. What I'm trying to say is that uh, Chipsy, oh, not Chipsy, not fair and lovely. My foot and you are going to put on a good one. Arimis. Arimis. That is for ladies or for men? Now all you want to tell me are very dangerous. <laughs> Keep away from them. Character, mafuta, dressing, can take you somewhere. But character is going to keep you there. Before you are promoted, look, at your character. Are you faithful? 
Are you trustworthy? Are you able to be delegated responsibility and you do it? There is a living certificate waliandika kuhusu mtu. Wakasema this one can only work under military supervision. <laughs> Are you ready to employ such? Na kabla hujatoka hapo utapata recommendation ya principal atakaa chini na kuandika sema this one is a very good mason but chunga <laughs> Chunga nusioni sikuwe karibu yake he normally displaces what is available character number three, there is something that is called consistency you can never be promoted unless you are consistent whatever field you have desired to study whatever the discipline that you have been trained it is not by accident in fact these days the white collar jobs are normal the people that are needed are the people who have been trained technically and they have competent skills those are the people that are needed therefore i want to tell you you are gold can you tell your neighbor you are pure gold say not because of your face but because of your training and tell him i am competent i have character and i will be consistent from here you can go to a higher technical institution you can go to technical university you can go and master in the technical field and from there you can have a phd in technical training the world is changing you are the people therefore you are not here by mistake you are not here by chance you are here by god's promise don't be don't let anyone despise your training never let anyone despise your training by the way technical skill is relevant everywhere you can become your own boss you can employ many people it is my prayer that you look at everything positively and you can change our society same a technical power technical power even me i am trained to preach but beginning shinda i need a technician i can pray lakini hiki ni kiaribika who do i need i need a technician na hata nawaambia barabara ikisumbua we need people with the technical skills and knowledge therefore i challenge you kuna watu wanahitaji counseling huko west pokot some people are trained to be social workers you are competent be consistent it is my prayer that you will become consistent today in our anglican lecture the readings we drew them from psalm 75 psalm 75 is ascribed to us we will not read you will read at your time this psalm was ascribed to us but i agree with scholars who think that this psalm was a psalm of david david sang this psalm when he was promoted to become king and i want to tell you here we are waiting a coronation some of us today are coronated for greatness in jesus name God will lift you up. David underwent challenges, but one day he became king. 
Some of you have undergone challenges, maybe lack of um, school fees sometimes, maybe lack of upkeep. Uliwaona angalia mwingine kwa rumi yake next anakula nyama fry na wewe hauna chochote unavuta tu pumzi ya ya hiyo nyama na unaimba bwana Yesu atakuja fu via omba ukiwa na haja you look at her as who are dressed very well lakini wewe mwenyewe ulikuwa unangangana kama mtu kutoka chepu kama mimi the shoes might not have been the best but thank god there is no experience that is wasted god is preparing you for a greater thing it is my prayer that you will know your experience here is not wasted david when he was coronated let's start today you are in this livers party you are coronated you have done your exams one day you will graduate here now you are going to the world the title of my short sharing today is the true promotion i desire the true promotion and i want to say true promotion is ascribed to god you can never be promoted without god there are people who seek promotion by undermining other people wanamchomea ndio apate hiyo nafasi that promotion does not come from god number 2 there are people who seek promotion by undermining others that promotion does not come from god Others look for promotion by relationship and they think that they can get promotion through relationships some think that promotion comes by being known and using god fathers and maybe you have now i want to say true promotion is ascribed to god some 75 David or Asap begins his psalm by saying thank you God I thank God for what he has done for you since you began this institution I thank God for what he's doing for you now now what he's doing for you he is enabling you to be a believer I thank God I ascribe to God what he will do to you he will promote you to greatness in Jesus name amen all promotion i ascribe it to god why do i ascribe it to god because of two things number one because of who god is and number two because of what god has done for me Number one, God is all powerful. Therefore my promotion I ascribe it to the omnipotent God, the maker of heaven and earth. The God that nothing is impossible with him. It is with him that I will get promoted. I don't need to know any other name except the name that is above every name, the name of Jesus Christ. May you always remember all promotion as credit to God every day in the morning say God you are all powerful nothing is impossible with you you will take me far even when there is a river jordan you will make a way even when there are challenges you will be with me in Jesus name all true promotion are ascribed to God Number 2 all true promotion all true promotions all true promotions they are able to make us accept responsibility David when he was promoted he says dear lord in Jesus name dear lord i am going to judge the people 
Justin. When you are promoted, may the Lord enable you to work justly. May you be trustworthy wherever you will be taken. May you serve others with all diligence and competence. May you have a vision. When the Lord takes you out, may you have a vision. And each and every one of us have a vision. Some of us, it's business. Some of our vision is to work in particular places. They say without a vision, people perish. Accept the responsibility of your promotion. Be diligent. Whatever God has made you to do, be it a mechanic, be it a social worker, may you have that mark of diligence. May you be diligent. May people be referred back to you wherever you are. May you do your work with dedication. May you be determined. And by God's will, you will go far. Number three, avoid promotion out of pride to show off. Do you know some people think they are promoting themselves? And say, Mimi, see kama watu wengine hapa. Mimi, ndiyo nawe sanga hii manenu. Kwa jana na wale wengine. And the Bible says in the book of Proverbs chapter 16, verse 18, pride comes before a fool. Yani, kuanguka kunanza na majivuni. Nebukadneza one day, he saw his kingdom and he said, oh, what I can do. Mungu amekuinua Umepatiwa elfu moja kwa mara ya kwanza umefanya kazi unasema eh hey, nani mwingine kama mimi That is the beginning of a fall Avoid the promotion that comes with pride Do not lift your homes Do not boast Be humble It is my prayer that even as people praise you be humble Humility is the way up. Nebuchadnezzar akasema, kama siyo mimi, look at my kingdom. For seven years, he became like a cow. Alikula nyasi. And most of the people who are not humble, watakula nyasi. Until you humble yourself, that is when God will lift you up. It is my prayer that you will become humble. Your tutor, when he calls you, atakama umemaliza, kimbia, you never know. He might be the referee, or reza kumuliza ungea juu ya huyo. Anasema huyo wachara na yetu. Leave him alone. Waja ajifunze kwanza. It is my prayer that you will become humble. Hata kama uneza fanya kitu vizuri kushinda watu wengine. Never boast. Let your action speak louder than your word. Lastly, number four, and the last point that I want to share with you today. Acknowledge that promotion does not come from east or west. Or south or north, promotion comes from God. It is my prayer today that as we step out of this prestigious institution, May we be aware, may we know it, that promotion does not come from east or west. It comes from God. May God lift you. During that time, people depended on other nations to make them strong. People depended on powerful friends. But David knew that it was going to come from God. Even if your friend is considered for a job and they ask you, give good feedback. God does not come early, neither does he come late. At your time, God will visit you. I'm reminded of Jonathan. Jonathan! Aliambia David, I know you will become king. I'm the son of the king, but I know you will become king. He was waiting for the will 
of God. And he knew the will of God was not for him to become king. But it was David. And later David rescued the son of Joseph and took him, Jonathan, and took him to the palace. May we be our brother's keeper wherever we are. May we not, you cannot succeed by undermining others. I know this world has a lot of competition. But always know promotion comes from God. It is my prayer that as you go out, let's remember that true promotion comes from God. May we be competent in whatever we do. May we have character. May we be consistent. Let's remember Psalm 75. And the psalm that we have read is that we ascribe all promotions to God. Accept the responsibility that you are responsible as you go out. Don't behave like people who have not gone to college. Be responsible. Number three, avoid the promotion that comes with the pride and showing off. It is the beginning of the end. It is interesting, while I was preaching, I've discovered I have my few Christians of Emmanuel Nasoko here. I'm a priest of some. I had seen another one. Okay, I had seen Oh, one day I'm preaching to my Christians here. I did not need to show off, but one day I'm going to be a Christian. And one day I'm going to be a Christian. And one day I'm going to be a Christian. Lastly, let's remember that promotion comes from God. Not from East or West. I studied until I attained the PhD. In the year 2022, I graduated with PhD. And uh, they call me Reverend Dr. Kimutai Chesosi. I'm also on YouTube. You look for Ven Dr. Kimutai Chesosi. Even this someone will be on YouTube. And if you subscribe, I'll be a happy man. May the Lord richly bless you. How many of you desire true promotion? Stand up wherever you are. I commit you to the Lord in prayer. If you desire the promotion that only comes from God, I want to dedicate you, take you to the Lord in prayer, that the Lord will lift you. And we want to pray that this institution will be truly promoted to greater heights, that they will train many people, that it will be a center of excellence in technical training. May the Lord replenish the resources and may the Lord give this institution through promotion and all of you. Let's pray. Our dear Heavenly Father, in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, we thank you for the power that is in your word. Dear Lord, we desire promotion that comes from you as Kitala Kapel Technical Training Institute. We desire promotion as delivers and even tutors and your servants. We desire that you will promote them to a level of your divine blessings, providence, and protection. Dear Lord, I pray that you will bless your servants here. Expand their territories. Open doors and opportunities. Bless them where you want them to be. Dear Lord, make them to provide for their respective families. Make them to leave a mark and an impact. We honor you and we bless you. In the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Santa Santa. Thank you, the principal. Now we begin a water. Brother Masai, Kapur Gombe. For those who do not know our language, Kapur Gombe. Thank you. I've never seen a support sing like you. I hope we'll meet more. Gombe number to Simame too. The Bible in the book of Romans.